Today I'm going to show you my second attempt at a wheel lacing jig. <laughs> I made one before but uh, there were parts that were in the way and uh, I, I figured I could do it better so here it is. Keep watching and uh, I'll take it apart for you and show you how I made it. Before I continue, I'd just like to say thanks to Nathan from Sandy Hill Construction for his donation of some fine wood to make this project happen. <laughs> thanks a lot, Nathan. So as you can see here, it's, uh, it's very uh, similar to the Fanatic lacing stand. It kind of spins around. Uh, I made rollers here and, you know, like, I just kind of set it up to show you. I, there's no way I'm ever going to use it. It's not perfectly centered, but that doesn't really matter. Like, I could just uh, easily like move it around. Uh, also, I'm using a 24 inch uh, rim here. And if I wanted to use a, a larger rim, then I'd have to move all the, uh, the legs around anyways. So I'll just show you here how well it works. The spokes just fall in. Uh, on my first attempt there, the uh, you might've had to move things around a little more, like for the spokes to fall in place but this way uh, you don't have to uh, everything is uh, is separated and it moves around just that much better so there you go you can see the spokes fit perfectly fine okay I'm just gonna show you what I used here so what I've done is I taken apart a microphone stand what they had were two holes and screws fit perfectly through them so that's what I've done I just attached those two legs what I've done here is I just use a pool noodle and put it around a stack of old bearings. As you can see here, they just kind of spin around. I put them together with uh, you know, some bolts and a nut. And there you go. You can see it's just a bolt kind of fits into this uh, stack here of old bearings. And there's like a little bushing down at the bottom that I got out of a, a pair of old roller blades. And what I had to do was put a washer here so that the bearings would roll around smoothly. And it worked out pretty well. So here you go. I'll just kind of show you like the one that I'm using here. You could use it uh, without the pool noodle, but the pool noodle just kind of helps uh, take up some of the slack there in case you don't uh, attach the legs properly. You can see here, it just kind of spins around. Like it moves and stuff, but it uh, it works exactly as intended. Now, like I was saying before, if I wanted to use a, a larger rim, I'd have to move the legs out a little bit. And you can see that they're just kind of attached by screws down there. Here we go. I'm just going to remove the rim and start taking it all apart for you. So you can see how I made it. So again, the hub is on a quick release axle. This was a through axle. And what I've done is I just kind of screwed that quick release axle into the bottom of this leg that I used as a stain and we'll get into that in a bit now I might have to put like another bolt or something like that like something different if uh, I was actually using a quick release hub but I just want to kind of give you an idea it's more like a template than it is me showing you exactly how to do everything you know use your own imagination so what I did here is I used the table legs of an IKEA coffee <laughs> an Ikea coffee table and it kind of comes with uh, you know like screws kind of built into it and I just screwed it into a piece of soft wood as a base and there you can see it kind of have a big hole there for the quick release axle and I again I used uh, Robertson screws that I had kicking around they're just kind of old junk screws but like I said I'm, I'm not gonna buy new screws just so I can make a, a stand that I'm never really gonna use like just because I don't spend any money doesn't mean that you know you can't and spend money if you really want like I'm sure the economy would appreciate it and you know so would uh, every retailer that sells screws okay so I'll just give you an idea here so if I wanted to move the leg I just uh, you know loosen the screw out take it off and move it to wherever I needed it to be and then re-screw it in now pretty much most rims are gonna be about the same size and you would just find your particular holes mark them not that they would need to be marked but you know you would find your particular holes and then just keep reusing those holes Holes. If worst came to worst, if you needed to do it like over and over and over again, then you would simply just get maybe a, a wider screw and then, you know, it would be tight if the hole became a little too reamed out or whatever. So here you go. You can see there's that leg and I just screwed it into the bottom of this piece of wood here. As you can see, it can just be moved around like really, really easily. So here we go. This piece of wood here, it's just screwed into the bolt on this IKEA coffee table leg. And it's soft wood. I didn't really have to like drill a hole or anything it just kind of made its own so now I'll take this apart here my roller like I already kind of showed you the parts that I used now I'll just take it apart I'll show you how it was fit on here again like I said I used a bolt went into this bushing off of a 
pair of roller blades. And to just take up the slack, I put a uh, nut on that bolt. And to make sure that the bearing stack spun properly, I just put a, uh, a washer. So what I did have to do is glue on this bushing and that just won't come off. But you know, it doesn't really matter to me because if I was actually gonna use this, like this stand all the time, then I would want it to be on there as tight as possible. And of course for the rim, I put on these small furniture pads and I also had to glue on the uh, that piece of wood to the other side of the table leg and I'll show you how to take that off in a few minutes. So again here I'll just show you just remove the screw and you would just replace the leg as needed to wherever you needed it to be like if you're doing a 27 inch rim then you'd need it out even farther. Like this is more of an ad hoc type deal like if I really needed to use it and I did do one rim where I could have used it but I may do without it and that's pretty much what I'm trying to tell you. You don't really even need these things. If you do, if you have, if you're one of those guys who has to sit down and you know really think about what you're doing when you're lacing then you know by all means you should just probably get uh, the pro one or make one yourself. Now again, just take this roller apart. You can see it spins really smoothly and this uh, bearing stack is just kind of held on by a bolt. All right, so I'll just vacuum up some of the, that, that dust there and here I'll show you how to take this piece of wood off if you ever wanted to. So what I did is I glued it on and it just kind of popped off. You can see there it took some of that like, you know, that press wood kind of fill there. Another way you can do it is just bang it on the piece of wood there and I don't really care. I'm not going to be using this. I will be reusing this piece of wood though, because this is a really, really nice piece of wood. Like, I don't know, I could even make like a small table out of that, but I'll figure it out. I'll figure out something. And this is the way these uh, kind of double-sided bolts look. I know there's a name for them, I've totally forgotten what they are, but you know, it doesn't really matter. You just use some pliers to screw that back in and here we go. Here's the entire package that the way it should look before putting it all together. So you have your rim, you have your hub, you have that quick release axle, you have some screws over there. You have those uh, pieces of wood that would screw onto the table legs and you have a bag of bearings there and you have those pieces of wood that I glued on. Here we go. Got those cut pieces of wood that just screw on and you have these bases here that you would glue onto the other side with that bushing for the bearings. And this is uh, how, the pe how the piece of wood would look when it's not screwed in. We have our hub. Like I said, I was using a uh, through axle hub on a quick release axle and we'd have to make something up if it was a quick release hub. What I'd done is I screwed it in here, but like I said, you know, we'd have to like make up something else to uh, fit on a quick release hub. And of course, here are the bearings. I just, you know, I collect them. Even if they're used, they're still good for something. And as I've shown right here. So I hope you like this video. I hope it helps inspire you if you wanted to make one of these for yourself and save the three to 500 bucks for a pro stand. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one.